This pattern has many tiny inside cuts that make it too difficult for a beginner on the scroll saw. You should have some experience before attempting a pattern with this many small inside cuts. With that caution in place, I have hundreds of hours of scroll saw experience, so I wasn't afraid to try this. The baseball player is one of a set of sports figure patterns from Steve Good, and I'll give you a link to his site in the description. The figures include a baseball and football player, male and female basketball players, and male and female tennis players. The pattern calls for a quarter inch thick material, but I had recently purchased some 1 8 thick 12 by 12 basswood squares, so I decided to see how the pattern worked on that material. I thought that would suit some number 3 Pegasus modified geometry blades, so I drilled 1 16th inch pilot holes in the workpiece. You'll need a drill bit that makes a hole large enough for the blade to fit through and small enough to fit inside the tiny spaces of the pattern. It takes precise drilling to get the potholes within the pattern lines. It doesn't matter what order you make the cuts in, but you must make all the inside cuts before the outside cut. Leaving the outside cut until last keeps the workpiece stronger and easier to handle while making the inside cuts. Even with a number three blade, I had to slow the scroll saw down to its slowest speed. It is unlikely you could make this project on a saw without a variable speed control. This pattern will require more patience than most because of the number and small size of the inside cuts, so don't try to knock it out in a rush. Basswood is very soft, so the cut was somewhat aggressive even with a number three blade and the saw running at its slowest speed. With my level of experience, I could control the workpiece, but if you are less experienced, I recommend using one quarter inch material and possibly a smaller blade than a number three if you have one on the hand. You need to cut 90 degree angles on many scroll saw patterns, but there aren't many on this pattern. The corners are either curved or very sharp points. To cut a curve, you follow the cut line. For small, acute, sharp angles, I would recommend you start at the pilot hole, then cut along the line to the point of the angle. Then, rather than trying to adjust the workpiece an extreme amount to make the angle, back the blade up to the pilot hole and cut down the line on the other side until you once again reach the point of the angle. This will give you a nice, sharp point. The largest inside cut was the accent on the player's upper leg, but don't let the size of that section fool you. This is by far the most challenging part of the project. The turns are all very close together, and I had trouble following the line as closely as I wanted to. If I tried to make my turns in the waist area, when I moved back to the cut line, it was difficult to hit the exact spot I needed to start cutting again. If I tried to stay on the line through the curve, the blade was aggressive enough, even at the slowest speed, that I couldn't control it as well as usual. The lesson learned is, is that next time I'll use quarter inch material and possibly a smaller blade as well. The result still looks good and no one will ever know that this cut didn't follow the lines exactly. I was happy to complete the inside cuts and move on to the long outside cut. It took longer than usual to make this cut since the material was so thin and I'd slowed the motor down to its lowest speed. That limited how fast I could work. I couldn't turn up the speed or the blade would become too aggressive to keep on the cut line. I'm not sure I've ever run into this situation before. The back is just a simple outline, a little bigger than the front piece. I used half-inch pompoir for it and painted it a dark blue for a nice contrast against the off-white of the Basswood baseball player. Let me know what you think about this project in the comments, and check out the suggestion for the next video to watch. I'll see you there.